Joining us now is the director of Al Jazeera's investigative unit, Clayton Swisher. Interesting stuff, Clayton. What do you think this says about the Palestinian authorities standing with the Americans, his relationship with them? Well, with respect to the cable saying that the American CIA wants to talk with Hamas, um, this is clear evidence that the currency, the political currency of the Palestinian Authority has been falling. This was in 2009. Um, President Obama had just come into office, was pledging a new relationship with the Arab and Muslim world. All those cozy relationships that had existed with uh, Arab dictators hadn't been going well. The Americans started to think, well, let's think at this problem, let's look at this problem afresh and, and try some new approaches. Um, we don't know if that relationship developed and went further, um, but the very evidence that they, the CIA reached out to the Safra South Africans uh, to have contact with Hamas is nothing but scandalous back in the United States because they consider the Hamas a terrorist organization, at least in public, and have put an, you know, a global siege against the movement to you know, freeze its fund, jail its leaders, etc. What sort of impact do you think this will have on Mahmoud Abbas, the fact that he was keen that those investigations against Israel be quashed in order not to benefit Hamas? Well, it's, it's, it adds to the indictment, Jane. Uh, if you remember in the Palestine papers, evidence emerged in their own records, the Palestinians' records, that there was an attempted cover-up uh, by the Palestinian leadership, including Mahmoud Abbas, under extraordinary American pressure to see Israel shielded from war crimes. And now we see via South African leak that the Mossad director called the South African spy director to implore him to drop this case because Mahmoud Abbas doesn't want it to go further. He would hate to see it strengthen Hamas. I mean, one can say in the past that maybe they bungled the handling of the war crimes, but this, Jane, is just a craven abdication of, of the leadership responsibilities that Mahmoud Abbas would have as the leader of their liberation movement. And surely this would add to the mountain of evidence that he has tried, in fact, to protect the occupier for their crimes. And from what you glean from these leaks, any idea how this is playing out in the Israeli camp right now? They're furious over it. I, 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 well, I should say that the, the leak over the Mossad uh, document with respect to Netanyahu's um, speech before the United Nations, it's obviously causing a scandal in the international media. It's headlines around the world, uh, in part because Netanyahu is hoping to go to the United States and do a similar fear-mongering act uh, of, you know, the sky is falling, we must stop Iran. If he lied before the United Nations and mischaracterized what his own spy services were saying, what confidence should the American public, let alone the Congress, have that what he says is going to be in any way truthful? Clayton, very interesting stuff. Thank you very much More to for come, Jane. sharing. I'm sure there is. And we're going to be speaking to Hamas a little bit later on about these revelations. Thanks for that, Clayton Swisher. In Yemen, Abdul